мыслью, которую я хочу поделиться, будет называться «Мера и ее ответственный». Мера, величина и ответственный за нее. A measure or um, an amount and the person who is responsible for it. Мы живем в мире, где мера играет очень большую важность. We live in a world where measures, they play huge value. И особенно мера влияния especially a measure or a level of influence. Изначально, так, когда Бог сотворил землю, то всю меру влияния и доминирования дал человеку. From the beginning, when God created men, He gave all of the measure and the level of influence and dominion to people. Человек имел абсолютную Абсолютную меру. And the person or a man, he had the absolute measure of that authority. И это была мера добра. And it was the measure of goodness. Но потом случилось, But then it happened, что мера была передана или искусно украденная, и абсолютно вся мера перешла в руки дьявола. But then it happened that all of this measure was deceitfully stolen or also exchanged and given into the hands of Satan. And Satan, devil, he is the, the personification of evil and destruction. Um. Теперь на меру претендует как добро, так и зло. And now goodness and evil has its eyes on this measure. И претендует, как можно взять свою меру, больше или абсолютно. And they fight so that they can take as much measure as possible and maybe perhaps all of it. Как же нам а сегодня, находясь в этом мире, реагировать на нашу персональную, вообще реагировать на меры. Ведь происходит так много событий вокруг нас. How do we react in our own personal lives on the events that are happening all around? Меры кругом, претензии, претензии, претензии. Какая наша мера? Кто нам ее определяет? Кто ответственный за самую меру? Um, how do we respond? There's a demand. Everything is very demanding. What is my measure? Uh, who is responsible for the amount of my measure? Христос сказал такое слово, Евангелие, 4 глава, Марк, 24 стих. And Christ said this kind of word in Mark chapter 4 and verse 24. He says the following, and he was saying to them, take care of what you listen to. By your standard of measure, it will be measured to you, and the more will be given to you besides. Христос делает удивительное заявление. Christ makes a very interesting declaration. В мир, где уже оказался в конфликте и в борьбе за претензию на величину. He makes this in the world that is in the war and the world that it places a demand on measure. Говорит, отмерите, and he says, whichever measure you will choose, and then he says that, and that measure will be measured. Мы живем в мире, который изначально гармонично и райский создан. We live in a world that was created in the beginning to be like paradise. Но не такой сегодня. But it's not so today. Он не разрушен 
до конца, но много принесено демидж. This world we're living in is not fully destroyed, but much damage already this world has suffered. Если посмотреть, что Бог заложил изначально, что открыто сегодня, это непостижимо нашему. If we will look at what God initially has placed into this earth and what we already have discovered, I mean, this is mind-blowing. Если вы возьмете такой предмет, как интернет, радиоволны, if you will take such a subject as internet or radio waves, какие большие возможности заложены? Such a great opportunities were placed into this earth. Мы можем летать. That we could fly. Мы можем ходить. That we could walk. Мы мы можем плавать. That we could swim. Мы можем разговаривать по интернету, видеть друг друга. That we could talk to somebody in the other part of the world and actually even see them. Интернет способен поместить все адреса мира в себя. Internet is capable of putting all of the addresses of the world into its himself. Все улицы, all the streets, города, cities, все машины, all the cars. Он способен иметь без шоферское движение. Все машины могут двигаться без шоферов. And it almost creates this traffic without drivers where everything moves, but there's no drivers. And technology that is available where you can program your car and the car will go to your kid's school, pick up your kids and bring your, bring your kids back. Это невообразимые вещи, которые изначально были Богом заложены. And these and many more things which were placed by God from the beginning. Но потом вторгну, вторгну, вторгнулись хакеры. But then the hackers got into this. Дьявол. Satan. Зло. Evil. Которое разрушает. That destroys. И оно претендует на абсолютную меру. And this evil Satan, he demands, he wants his full measure. Он воюет, чтобы завладеть абсолютную меру разрушения. And he fights so he can occupy the full measure of his destruction. И как творение Божье мы люди. And we as the creation of God people. Родились намного позже, вот сегодняшнее время. You know, we were, we were born a lot later today. И мы оказались в этой нами нежеланной атмосфере, но она реальна. And we are found in the world that maybe we do not fully desire now, but today it's the reality. Мы находимся в мире, где на претензию на меру разрушения большие претензии, больших сил. And we are born in a world where there is a big demand on the measure of distraction and this measure this demand is by big powers реальность, and this is such a reality that passivity will lose потому мы должны быть осведомлены что происходит и как нам двигаться so we have to be enlightened by what is happening and what we must do и Христос нам здесь отвечает, And Christ in here tells us, что ответственность за меру нашей мечты, that the responsibility for the measure of our dream, нашего прогресса, of our progress, благополучия, of our goodwill, здоровья, our health, наших отношений, our relationships, наши финансы, finances, вообще ну всего всего добра, all of the good, Бог Иисус Христос говорит. Jesus says, что когда мы приходим к нему, when we come to him, получаем спасение, receive salvation, он поместил нас в такую позицию, he has placed us in such a position, которую сам поддержит, that he himself will support, если мы если мы сами возьмем и отмерим меру, if we ourselves will take charge and by a standard choose a measure. Потому мерить на нашу жизнь Христос возлагает ответственность на нас самих. 
So to have the kind of measure you will have, Jesus Christ places that responsibility on us. Мы живем в таком мире, что эта сфера под большим нападением и люди из-за страха или из-за скромности бывают пассивны. И потом дьявол приписал ей что-то какой-то дьявольской святости. Люди не хотят мерить для себя большую меру. We live in a world today where because of passivity or fear, people settle for very little and the enemy succeeds in giving them this false notion of uh, holiness where if they settle for something very little, that means that they are more righteous. And everybody used that phrase that if it's the will of God, that if God wants, Если Бог хочет, чтобы я был здоровым. If God wants me to be healthy. Если Бог хочет, чтобы у меня был сильный marriage. If God wants me to have a happy marriage. Чтобы я имел крепкое здоровье. That I will have a good health. Здоровье в теле. Good health in my body. И мы перекладываем меру не на себя. And what we do by that is we actually shift the responsibility from ourselves onto someone else. Какие мы будем? Who are we going to be? Whether we're going to be educated. Whether we are going to have a career. Business. Or we, whether we're going to have a business. Whether we will be intelligent. Whether we will be people of influence. What kind of car? House. Or family. And we passively Turn, turn it over to God by saying that, well, whatever God's will is. When we come to church. But Jesus says in here, when he's speaking, he has placed us in a very privileged situation. That Jesus, yes, he will stand behind us, but the power of choice и право величины and the power of the amount of those choices какой колледж what kind of college какая профессия what kind of career на сколько долларов на час what kind of salary of that career на какой дом what kind of square footage of the house он говорит чтобы эту меру мы мерили сами he said that that falls on us to choose и Он пообещал, что поддержит. And he promises to support our position. Потому церковь это активные люди. So therefore church has to be a place of active people. Когда мы приходим в церковь, when you come to church, слушаем проповедь, when you listen to a sermon, после собрания, after the service, мы выходим активными людьми. We have to walk out as active people. Полных желаний, full of desires, мечты full of dreams and plans and they will become a reality. In church, and Jesus in church wants to show us the components of the things we should aim for. He wants to reveal to us the reality of the world we find ourselves in. That what's happening all around us. What's happening on our right and on our какие left. Какие what kind of uh, uh, challenges we are facing on our way. The world doesn't have such a privileged positions. Они живут в мире дьявола, где Бог этого мира. Он хочет разрушить всех и все. People without God live in a place where Satan rules the world and he seeks to destroy everything and anything he comes in contact with. And a believer in God, he is in a better position as a student in a university. A person linked up with God when he is a businessman, he is in a better position in the area of business. When a husband or a wife, when they are with God, they are in a better position as a husband and wife compared to those who are not. And they can aim higher. 
побольше планы, подальше планы. They can make their plans that reach further. У них намного больше с Богом от сегодня, чем у президента на четыре года. Когда выбирается президент на четыре года, все, все больше uh -huh. They have more with God that they can expect than a president of a country. For example, United States, he can only be a president for four years. И потом переизбирается. And then they have to do re-election. Но мы с Богом планируем дальше. But we with God can plan even further beyond four years. Дальше, чем республиканцы. Even further than Republicans. Демократы. Or Democrats. Это все закончится. Because all of these things, they come to an end. Ты можешь мерить большую меру. You can aim higher. You can measure higher standard. Чем атеисты, коммунисты и, и всякие буддисты, кто бы они ни были. You can aim higher than communists and atheists and fascists or any other people. Потому что наша мера, Бог стоит за ней. Because behind our aim or behind our measure, God stands. И God, и Божья мера, она как изначально была абсолютно, так и в конце закончится абсолютно. And God's measure as it was in the beginning, God aimed very high, and so it will be at the end that he will succeed aiming high. Навуходоносор в свое время видел сон, Бог ему показал, он интересовался, что будет происходить. A king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar, he had a dream, he was asking what will happen in the future. И Бог показал ему истории цивилизации And God showed him in the vision all of the future of the civilizations that will happen after him. And the kind of measure or the kind of reach they will aim on. And so, and you know, he saw these things. He saw the Persia, he saw Macedonia, he saw Rome, he saw so many different kingdoms that will come after him. And they all aim at a certain level of influence and control in the world. Measure. A certain measure. Но все они прошли. But all of them are past. И Бог показал царю Навуходоносору. And God showed this Babylonian king. Всю эту траекторию, по которому мир своими влияниями будет проходить. God showed him all of these things that the world with his ability and influence would try to aim for. И в конце заканчиваются следующим. But everything came to an end with the following. Когда царь Навуходоносор смотрит, что камень оторвался от горы и ударил все эти цивилизации. And he saw how the rock, or the stone from the mountain, was kind of removed and thrown into all of these civilizations. And it shattered them into dust, and the wind carried the dust out. And this stone that destroyed these civilizations became a big mountain and filled the whole earth. And this Babylonian king, he didn't know what this dream meant. Daniela, and when he invited Daniel, the prophet, Daniela, then God showed to Daniel that God's measure at that point during civilizations didn't end, but it will end at the end triumphantly. И воздвигнет царство, и это, этому царству не будет конца. The God, after all of these civilizations, will lift a kingdom that will shatter every kingdom, and that kingdom will endure forever. It's going to be His kingdom. Потому мы привилегированные люди. So we are very privileged people. Вы, мы люди с большими мерами. We are people with great measures. Мы кандидаты на большие цифры. We are candidates for big numbers. Потому что Бог нас, наш victorious. Because our God is victorious. Потому не бойся мечтать. So do not be afraid to dream. На твои меры сегодня много атак. Because on your measures, dreams, there will be attacks. Сегодня много. Today. Вы включаете телевизор? If you turn on your television, вы слушаете новости? Or if you read news, там эпидемия? 
and you will see the там война plagues wars там дик там диктатура there is somewhere you know a dictatorship там значит увеличающаяся статистика наркомании алкоголизма всякого греха and you see the arising statistic of different addictions of drugs and alcohol and so many other evil разводы of divorce однополые браки you know of homosexual unions и вы думаете and you think какую мне меру поставить в этом в этих всех мерах in, in, in the midst of all of this that is going on in this world what's supposed to be my aim and my measure и мы начинаем зажиматься в себе с нашими мерками and many times we try to kind of limit ourselves and contain ourselves with our standards маленькими мерками with our small measures uh, маленький дом to aim for you know for small things Малень, in an area of the house потому что в кругом столько много мер because all around us there's so many different things какая моя мера what is my place потому my что на тебя много pressing pressing because pressing, there's pressing. much pressure much pressure и мы соглашаемся выбрать маленькую меру and we choose to settle for a small measure но христос говорит but christ says и это не так he says that's not so какую меру ю отмеришь he says, whichever measure you will choose, I will stand beside it. Such a great privilege. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not people who are addicted to alcohol have to aim high. Or people who are addicted to drugs. Or people who are perverted. But to people who are holy, they have to aim high. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Мерай себя большими мерками. Measure yourself, see yourself through God's high standards. Мечтай о себе большими мерами. Dream about yourself in the high standards. Потому что за твои меры Бог посылает Духа Святого, чтобы он постоял. Because God sends Holy Spirit behind your measures to support you in them. Твое сердце. In your heart. Твое тело. In your body. Мечтай о сильном здоровье. Dream of great health. Не мечтай о болезни. Do not dream or fantasize about sickness. Бог твоя защита. God is your defender. Бог твоя охрана. God is your protection. Он дал свое слово. And he gave his word. Свои свои обещания. He gave his promises. Не бойся мерить с Богом. Do not be afraid to measure with God. Когда в Вавилонском плену Артаксерс отмерил абсолютную смерть для израильского народа. When in the captivity of Babylon the king he measured a absolute death to the nation of Jews. И он разослал письма, назначил дату, в какое время это произойдет. He has sent out letters and even has indicated a date on which all the Jewish population in the land of Babylon will die. Израильские люди были абсолютно бессильны, невооруженными, не имели возможности. And the people of Israel they were completely defenseless. Но там нашелся один человек. But there was one man in that kingdom. Мардахей. Мардахай. Который он отверг маленькие меры. He has rejected the low standards or measures. Сила зла сегодня пытается навязать свои меры на твою жизнь, на твою судьбу. The power of evil tries to force its measures on your destiny. Чтобы добрые меры были разрушены. So that good measures will be destroyed. И так Артаксерс и подписал. And this king of Babylon signed so. Но Мардахей, он отверг эти маленькие меры, чтобы поклоняться Аману. But Mordecai, he rejected these low measures to bow himself before um, uh, Haman. И взял, Haman. От, и взял, отмерил себе меру большую. And he has measured for himself a lot higher measures. И казалось бы, что вот эта мера не пройдет за большая. And it seems like this measure is too high, it's ridiculous. Аман уже все у царя там. And, and Haman, he, this guy was, you know, like the vice principal, the vice uh, prime minister. No, Mordechai, at meril meru z Bogam. But Mordechai, he had God on his side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. И казалось бы нету выхода, все закончено. And it seems like that's it. There is no way out out of this situation. Но Бог сказал, какую мерою со мной от меришь? But Christ said, whichever measure you will measure with me. Такую буду будет тебе от мерена. That's exactly what you're gonna have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Молодец, Мардахей. Хорошую меру отмерил. You know, Мардахей is a good man. He did a good job. Отмерил хорошую меру. He has chosen a good measure. И Бог вступился. And God stepped in. И вместо того, чтобы пришло поражение для Израиля, Израиль был абсолютно victorious. And instead of seeing defeat of Israel, Israel was conquered. И ту вешальницу, которую тот, который мерил святого человека, на той же весельнице повесили этого человека. And Haman, who prepared a, a big um, gallow where he wanted to hang Mordecai, that's where they hanged him. Когда мы меряем с Богом, when we measure with God, hallelujah, hallelujah, не сдавайся на маленькие мерки. Do not settle for anything small. Бог с тобою. God is on your side. Не 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 сдавайся, когда дьявол тебе меряет болезнь. Do not settle when Satan throws you a measure of sickness. Defeat, panic, depression, всякие мысли о самоубийстве. Не не принимай эти меры. Defeat, panic, thoughts of suicide. Do not accept that measure. А когда тот же самый вавилонский плен 70 лет было и Даниил вычислил по книгам, что мера унижения Божьего народа закончена. When the same Babylonian captivity that I mentioned already, Daniel through the books have searched and found out that the measure of God's wrath uh, already came to an end. Рабство, унижение. Uh, the, the measure of slavery, humiliation. И один человек. One man. Он обратился к Богу. He turned himself to God. По всей молитве. In prayers and fasting. И поставил большие меры. And he has placed big measures. За освобождение. For deliverance. Как будто, ну, Бог ему не говорил. It seemed like God didn't speak to him. Он сам просто соображал, соображал. He kind of, you know, he was a clever guy. He just figured it out. Если мы дети Божьи, if we are children of God, если мы спасены, if we are saved, если Дух Святой во мне, if Holy Spirit is inside of us, если ангелы Божьи вокруг боящиеся окружают его, if God's angels are around those who fear God, он поставил меру выйти из рабства все. And Daniel, he has just made that measure to come out from slavery. Period. Я я ухожу из этого. I'm walking out of this. Period. И Бог стал двигаться по его мере. And God started to move according to the thing that He has said. И начало происходить исхождение из вавилонского плена. And the exodus of Babylonian captivity begin to take place. И Синай вокруг Иерусалима начало строиться. The wall восстанавливаться. The wall behind Jerusalem started to be rebuilt. The temple was being restored. When we make measures with God, which measures, which goals we can set today? Church, what kind of measures we can set with God today? Who has a legal right for great goals and measures? Evil or good? Люди, которые сегодня убивают людей, приносят аморальность, с Голливуда выходят всякое, всякое вещи, которые разрушают людей, или мы святые люди из церкви, спасение, прощение, исцеление и освобождение. Чьи меры реаль, äh, правдивы? And today people who may murder, people who spread lies, people who spread, you know, perversion, uh, even from places like Hollywood, or people who are walking with God, people who are saved and sanctified, who has the right legally to aim on high goals. Начни мечтать о больших мерах. Begin to dream of high measures. Дьявол не превозможит. And Satan will not prevail. Библия говорит, что слава Божья накроет, покроет землю, как воды наполняют море. Bible says that the glory of God will fill the earth like the waters cover the sea. Библия говорит, что последние дни святые усилятся и будут действовать. Bible says that in the last days holy saints that they will get stronger and they will do great exploits for God. Библия говорит, что Царством овладеют святые. And the Bible says that the saints will possess the kingdom. Потому святых мера должна быть абсолютно доминирующей. And so people who are saints, they have to have a measure that is one of domination. 
не ставляй твою меру на основании каких-то соблазнов, даже среди христианства. Do not make your measures come to the same place as a lot of Christians based on offenses. Тот пастор упал. You know, maybe uh, this particular minister has fallen. Or that church got closed down. A certain percentage of high schoolers do not ever return to church. And the surrounding measures try to come down to your measure so that your measure will remain small. Do you understand of what I'm communicating with you? Do not believe that. Because evil never will prevail. Do not believe in that. It's demonic spirit. And we will cast it out. Because Jesus is coming soon. And the Bible says that Antichrist and the false prophet, he's going to tie them up, throw them in the lake of fire, and they'll never come out of that hole. And he will bind Satan for a thousand years, and after he released him, he'll hit him with few more punches, throw him in the lake of fire forever, that's it. And the Bible says the saints will possess the kingdom. And the paradise life which God has initially started will come back and it will come. So have a big dream. It is true, the church has went through the hardest times. But the church has survived it all. Hallelujah. Amen. Люди напуганные сегодняшней информацией, новостями, событиями, что происходит. And the world today is full of fear of the news and what is happening, what could happen. И в церкви очень часто проповедуется, что скоро грядет антихрист. And many times the church is preaching the same thing that the soon antichrist and the end is coming. Антихрист это самое ничтожное и жалкое. Это щепенец. Это самая жалкая личность. But this Antichrist is the most, you know, weakest and the most miserable and most pitiful being that anybody could ever come on earth. И ему позволено будет прийти только тогда, когда будет взят удерживающий сегодня. And the only reason he'll be able to show up is when the church will be able to be taken out. Uh, the, 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 the restraining. And who does that? It's the church. And you see, Satan cannot even bring his antichrist into the world until we're gone. И когда Бог позволит ему появиться на, на, на мировой сцене, чтобы убить его, and even when he will be allowed to come on a world platform, he will come for a very short time and he's going to die at the end. And it's a very short time, three and a half years. But the time is always for the saints. And it's not a time for sin. Live a holy life. Happy life. And measure yourself with high standards. And Jesus says to those who hear, whichever measure you measure, that's exactly what you're going to get. Our God is a good God. He let us choose our own measure. He said, whichever you measure, and I will help you. So measure a big measure. Turn to your neighbor and say, say such a thing. Turn to your neighbor and say, choose a big measure. Choose a big measure. Not small. Not small. Not small. Measure a great measure. Во имя Иисуса. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Мы меряем исцеление большой мерой. We choose healing with a great measure. Мы меряем пробуждение спасения от власти дьявола. Revival with a great measure. 
And a man of people to be saved with a high measure. We are great people in God. And God gives the sun for the saints and rise gives us a new day. Hallelujah. Because we are God's precious people on earth. Hallelujah. Женщина, которая страдала 12 лет кровотечением, она сделала, сделала себе меру. And this woman who was suffering with a bleeding issue for 12 years, she, she made this measure for herself. Никто не знал, что она меряет. Nobody knew what she measures, what she's aiming for. И с Богом не советовалась даже. And she didn't even consult God. И, и не просила у Бога. And she wasn't asking anything particular. Anything of Jesus. Но она отмерила, сказала своем сердце, вот меру и столько. But she has measured, she said in her heart, что если прикоснусь к краю его одежды, that if I touch his garment, я буду исцелена. I will be healed. И когда она это сделала, when she did that, это это все сработало. That's exactly what happened. И когда Иисус повернулся узнать, кто кого это он поддержал, сила вышла от него. And Jesus just turned around to see who 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 did I just help. Because the power left me. Я кого-то поддержал, даже не знаю, кто кого поддержал. I just helped somebody, and I don't even know who I helped. Я хочу видеть, кого я поддержал. I just want to see who the, who I just helped. И когда она увидела, что что своими большими мерками она не может спрятаться. When she realized that because of her high standards and measures she cannot hide. Она говорит, это я. And she says, hey, it's me. И Иисус ее ободрил. And Jesus encouraged her. He applauded her. He says, great is your faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ставляй с Богом большие меры сегодня. Make big measures with God today. Не умоляйтесь. Do not get, do not belittle yourself. Стройте дома. Build homes. Открывайте бизнес. Open businesses. Идите учиться. Go to study. Ты переживешь все партии, которые есть, и подымутся еще после нас. And you will outlive all the parties and all of the different things that are here, and they will rise after us. Живи на расправленные плечи и на поднятую голову. Live your life with squared shoulders and lifted head. Бог за тебя. Because God is behind you. Во имя Иисуса. In Jesus' name. Слава Иисусу. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Слава Иисусу. Какую меру ее отмеришь? Whichever measure you will measure. Бог говорит. God has said. Слушающих. He said those who listen. Так будет отмерено. That's exactly what's going to be measured. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Бог тебе поможет. God will help us. Ты просто начнешь идти, Бог тебе поможет. You will just walk, and God will help. Мы когда начинали церковь, было всего лишь пару человек. When we started the church, there was only few people. Но сегодня мы имеем but today we have, you know, great preachers. And the family came from Yakima because they found out there's a great preacher. Yeah, this, <laughs> this one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, a measure, you know, when this building will be filled and few more services filled, that is a good measure. And that's our measure. Because that's how we measure for the glory of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.